tried to take my that's why I'm trying to really figure this out wow gay as fuck that thing ain't telling me shit where to go I wish I could blast his ass be done Level two. So how do you fuck you get into level fucking? Look at that. See, it goes down. By the time you get real close to it, look on the other side of that shit. Why do you continue to ignore your task? My God, this fucking A button though. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Die. Oh. You must surrender the construct so that we may return to our appointed task. Fusion reactor number one destabilizing. Use explosives on the other three reactors. That should be enough. No oh, shit, thanks for telling me now. So stupid. I was so fucking confused. I was like, well how the fuck you do it? Oh, we gotta do that bullshit again. All the way back, going up and down, 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 like fucking god. Hang on. Up and down, up and down. That's what's going on. You're not creeping me out, buddy. Wow. You suck! Stop jumping random ass places! Oh my god, I can't fucking make it. Get out of here! What the fuck? Wow, I got so much bad aim.
only one more fusion reactor to go. Or I got this. Who the fuck are you shooting at? Plus, we're getting good. We don't have much time. We should move outside and signal for evac. Accessing schematics. There's a service lift at the top of the engine. It leads to a class 7 service corridor that runs along the ship's dorsal structure. Hurry! I'm actually going there right now. Give me a minute. I didn't know it was that corridor. Oh, I I thought we just had to run, like, to go back where we just came from. Jumped out of the ship. Three, 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 three. Come on. Miss me. Alright, we're about to make it, 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 we're about to make it. Come on, come on. Bye, you piece of shit. You got the big fucking finger. Sorry. Thank God I'm playing Delta Halo 2. I mean, thank God I'm playing Halo 2. Thank God there's a lot of Halo games, but they're not that much cool. Oh! I can't believe it. I just got done this game like in about hours. Driving is so fucking off. Come on. This is really falling below me. Yeah, I can't drop a ship with this car. Look at that! Thank God I'm not playing this type of game again. Oh hell no. It was alright. Plus training was a little hell. Driving car. You know what? This gives me a good idea. Let's see that. Four minutes. Hmm. I wonder how I wonder how long this one is supposed to be shit. Like, how can I can I actually make it under four minutes? Or would it give me that oh that 
in your teeth, you know, like, uh, oh, skin of your teeth type of shit. All that was supposed to go this way. Look at that, I can't drive straight. Trying to make it so fucking epic. But how can you go through these all these fucking dumbass obstacles? Like for real, really. Look at that, I'm trying to drive perfectly straight and I cannot drive jack shit in this game. I think nobody else can really that good. You know what? I'ma go downwards. That seems like a pretty good idea. I'm in cars, I mean you can't really do shit. Oh really? Another fucking flip. And it kills me! How come? Negative, negative. We have a wildcat destabilization of the ship's fusion core. The engines must have sustained what the more fuck, damage dude? than we thought. Analyzing. We have six minutes before the fusion drives detonate. We need to evac now. Activating final countdown timer. When it reaches zero, the engines will detonate. The explosion will generate a temperature of yeah. almost 100. Wow, this is some Don't bullshit. Yeah, you know what? Let me drive slowly because, like, I fucking flipped and then it caused my death. Wow, that fucking lag, though. I mean, who, who wants to play a game that's really laggy and shit? It looks like I'm playing on the fucking internet speed. You know what I mean? Like, the internet's lagging. Look at this. I'm trying to drive it out of here, like, perfectly. And I can't drive worth a shit. The tires are too damn slippery for some case scenario. We're on fucking metal floor, so it should easily break. And we got that problem going on? Look, I promise you to God, I'm not trying to drive this bad. It's just the fucking tires and the controlling of this fucking game make me mad. Fuck that, dude. Oh my god, that would not make that, that would have killed me, I swear to god, I would have fist slapped some, some hell real quick. I'm gonna give it a big fucking finger in about a few minutes, watch. Watch, just watch. No, 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 no. Gee, dang. Crash, why don't you? Flip the damn thing, you piece of shit, fuck. I don't want to flip it. You better fucking flip it, because you're gonna flip. But I don't wanna flip. Nigga, if you don't fucking flip, I'm gonna flip, I'm gonna flip my shit on you. Flip your shit, what's that mean? Chunk of shit at you so fucking hard. I'm gonna cuss you out, I'm gonna blow you up. You're gonna feel it too. It's gonna hurt. Bad. And no, this is not a dick joke this time. It's something more important. This is way more than that. Way worse. It's like I take your mama. Fuck it. Now it's just gonna snap this section. If this thing kills me, see, you gotta go slow. Look at this. You gotta go slow. Because this car tends to fucking slide and glide and shit. I know some people have really frustration with this game. I can tell you that right now. But you still play anyway because how good this game is. But the fucking tires, they gotta fix that shit. I know they had to. They had to. When it came, when it came to race, uh, uh, Halo 2, my god, how bad that bitch was. Oh, here we go. This bullshit ass scene again. Which I'm going down here, and this time I'm fucking flipping. Oh, what do you know? I didn't do it this time. I think of my eyebrow itch and everything. I hate when you're trying to play a game, you're trying to be real focused at the same time, and then all of a sudden, like, something up the part of your body to, like, make you itch real bad. Look at that, I'm trying to... Got these assholes shooting these pain-ass needles at me. Wow, 
I mean, really, who, who makes this bitch so fucking far away? Who the fuck is that? No, 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 no. Ain't going to Not this, too. Oh, great. Thank you, buffoon. Flip, damn it. Flip. Thank you. Don't ask what happened. I, I, I'm, I'm kind of glad I skipped this shit because the, sh the, 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 uh, the, uh, I can't think straight because how pissed off I am. This game's driving skills is so fucking garbage. I had to skip the scene. I mean, I didn't skip the scene. I actually went through the bitch. My God. I don't fucking know. Like, I skipped this. I, I paused the scene just to refresh my refresh my capture card. My capture card was doing this fucking. Well, you gotta know what happened. Shut them down. We'll need them later. And then turn and then turn around. The driving really made me frustrated because I'm trying to go through the game perfectly, you know, without trying to drive that bad. And I'm saying here, I'm saying this. I'm saying this to myself. Man, it's not you, Mike, that's driving suck. I mean, you're driving suck. It's just you playing a game that's that you suck at. How the fuck I suck at the game, and I'm trying my damn best playing this bitch, driving this motherfucker perfectly, and you got these obstacles you're trying to slide through, and your tires are fucking sleeting. You know what I mean? And as you're in midair, your car, the fucking whatever, both, anyone else make whatever, four-wheeling motherfucking car turns around. As you're midair, it turns on you. Automatically. And you're trying we're to turn that flat. bitch back. We did what we had to do. And the car fucking flips over. That one scene kills me. Blood. We had no choice. Hey, Luke. It's finished. No. I think we're just getting started. Man, why do you have to take a scene of him? We can't even see his face. Ah. <sighs> This is like the biggest... <laughs> Fuck it. I'm glad I'm done with it. I beat it. I beat it, but that scene just got deleted. I'm sorry. I just couldn't deal with it. I could not deal with that scene. One damn bit. You saw what was happening. I tried. I got what happened. I got nearby the barrels. You know exactly where I got killed at? Right there. In that area, I got killed. So, what I was trying to do, when she told me, move it now, I thought I can go through, I thought I can drive through that car, like, drive the car through the fucking little barriers that was right there. And so what happened, I was like, okay, fuck that, I'm getting out, and that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to get out and run towards it. And so I killed two floods, and that was it. Two floods, and I just kept on running straight. As I was running straight, finally went to this cutscene, and now I realized my thing was paused. My whole tire kept, my whole tire X split was paused, because I paused it, because I had to... Um, refresh the freaking screen of my uh, capture card and that's pretty much what happened so that's why I want to tell you that I am so sorry if this has been like the this I, the game made me mad like I don't know what they, I don't know what was the worst of it that pisses me off I don't know what was the worst either it was the fucking driving or the fucking Banshee, then you know the guys that's twice in a row in that same fucking spot. I was trying to get there right and BAM motherfucker crashed into me. And so that's why I played it out. That's why I fucking knew when he was gonna do it again. That's why I drew in that you know that when I was actually in the um in the freaking thing, that car or whatever. Um so what happened? I drove into it, right? And I was about to go in that tunnel where I just came through. I turned it I turned that car around. And I got out of it because I know he was following me and I took the shotgun and shot him in the fucking face. Been done. And that's pretty much what happened. But this game, I can tell you that right now, this game, my god, I can't I can't even tell you like how pissed I am. And this game made my nerves go up like instant. 
My hands are fucking shaking like crazy because of this shit. This game made me mad. Like, physically made me mad. Like, I can't tell you how pissed I am because I would like, I would love to take the game out and break it. That's how pissed I am. So, but like, this one's a, uh, this is a, uh, like I said, the Xbox is soft modded, and the disc is a burn disc. It's just a burn disc, a blank DVD disc that has the game on top of it. So I could just simply break and just rewrite and just make another one. But that's just pretty much stupid. You know what I mean? So one question I want to fucking know. Why you have to make the driving thing so suckish? Why? Why in general? Why in fucking general you have to make the driving suck? I promise you that wasn't me driving like that. Of course this has survived. Bungie! But I tell you... Bruh. That, wow, the credits were short. The credits was fucking short. But in Halo 3... Halo 3, they actually made it long for the credits. But in Halo 2, they did it. I mean, in Halo 2, they kind of sort of did. You know? But, like I said, my god. I know for a fucking fact, whoever played this before me, I, you know, I, 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 what I'm saying, I know for a fact, I know 100% guarantee that person who played this game was going through the same bullshit I was going through with the car part. Driving, going through these random, you have to stop half the time and drive around that bitch. Now, you can't, you can't go forward. Like, you can't physically go forward. I had like 30 seconds left. Off the clock, I had 30 seconds left. Cause that, cause that bitch told me, Cortana told me, stop right there. And I was like, okay, I listened to her. I thought I was physically gonna get picked up. But I was really sitting there thinking to myself, should I really listen to her on this? Cause I don't think that if I really, if I, if I do this, if, if, if I have to wait, she she'll probably screw me somewhere. You know what I mean? No, I was told to fucking wait there, and I said, okay, I will stop. But no, if there was a, I could have just kept on going. Some told me to kept on going, and guess what happened? I didn't kept on going. My dumb ass said, hey, stop right there, too. So I listened to my own stupidity on what the fuck happened. See, th this game is real fucking retarded. I don't know what else to tell you. This game, I'm not trying to be a hater. Now, I show ain't talk. I'm talking a bunch of shit about it, but that doesn't mean I'm hating about it. It's just the driving was really awful. You know what I mean? Who could play a game where you're trying to handle that fucking car? You know what I mean? You try to handle that vehicle, right? You try to handle it, right? And then all suddenly the bitch is just fucks with you. And I'm like, how the hell can you control it in midair? You're supposed to drive straight, right? But instead, think turn sideways. It turned on me. How can you deal with that? That's why I sometimes think some games they just need to go back on. They should, you know what they should have done? After they got done creating the damn game, they should have go test that bitch out. I mean, play all the way through. Not just say, oh, we just got done testing it and we're not gonna fucking play it. You know what I mean? I mean, I knew Bunch, they had copies of their own and played a bitch. But then I know they could have said, you know what, we could have went back and fuck with the driving part. You know what, the game hasn't been released yet, so we might as well go do that real quick. No! They didn't get a chance to fucking do that. They did not get a damn chance to even think about that real quick. And then, no, no what they did, they said, you know what, let the, play, let the players play this shit. They're going to buy our copies anyway, so fuck it. So what we're going to do now, we're going to go straight to another game, Halo 2. These Halo 2 is way more better compared to Halo 1. No, no offense. No offense. You know, there's like so many, you know, like there's so many Halo games, and you think the Halo 1 was awesome, then you turn on when you play Halo 2, Halo 2 is more awesome, more better than Halo 1, and then when you play like the, the newest Halo game, it's like, man, all the other Halo games sucks, but this one's better. You know what I mean? That's what I mean about this game. I don't like this game. I love Halo, don't get me wrong. It's like, why, if you don't like Halo, if you don't, if you hate, if you don't like this game, then why the fuck you played it? I played it because I never actually finished beating Halo, but then I was like sitting there thinking like, because I remember the cutscene where this nigga says, all right, dude, hug it out, you know, and they both hugged it, you know, they both hugged it out and shit. And all of a sudden, once they, you know, the alien or whatever hugged it out, boom, boom, they both got killed. That type of shit. I remember playing, I played Halo 3 twice, twice in the damn row, twice in the fucking row. I played Halo 3 twice in the damn row. 
So, so, but that's what I did. So pretty much what you just saw was the easy part. Let me show you what happened. I was putting that like I had that bitch on easy just for the driving scene. Cause I thought it was I thought what happened. I thought it was because the way the handling was. So I said, you know what? Let me change the setting to easy. And let me see how that goes. I went through it perfectly fine, but then I came across the I came across a scene where the car was turning and shit, and I didn't like that. And I was like, okay, it's not the it's not the it's not the game. It's more of the it's pretty much the freaking Volkswagen. The fucking car, I don't care what it's called. But that bad thing. But anyway, I'm done talking about it. I'm just done talking about that bitch. Um What's another game I'm going to be doing? Well, truthfully, I probably pretty much will get started doing Batman Arkham Asylum. Um So I can actually do the whole entire completion of it. Batman Arkham Asylum, Batman Arkham City. Yeah, that well first is no, it ain't gonna happen like that. Oh hell no, it's not gonna happen like that. I'm gonna do the opposite of it. Batman Arkham Origins, Batman Arkham City, Batman Arkham Asylum. Wait a minute, that doesn't make no sense. Batman Arkham Origin, Batman Arkham Asylum, Batman Arkham City, and then Batman Arkham Knight. The main reason why I'm telling you that I'm going to do it in that in that pattern is one to play the story in this position. How like in Batman Arkham Origin, they actually go to the store how they all met. Like Harley Quinn and Joker, how they all met. You know what I mean? How they all met. And so I'm sitting here like thinking, you know what? That's a better idea if you play the game like that. If you play Arkham, um, Arkham Origins, if you play that one first, instead of playing the Batman Arkham Asylum, it just kind of shows you like who all the characters are and shit. You don't really know what happened. You know, how they all met. You know what I mean? I already saw how they met through movies, but how they met in the game is different. I said, okay, you know what? I'm gonna play Batman Arkham Origin. And tell her to play Batman Arkham Asylum. And tell her to play Batman Arkham City because Joker dies in Batman Arkham City. But then he comes back at the final end of Batman Arkham Knight. You know what I mean? So Joker survives in Batman Arkham Origin, Batman Arkham Asylum, but he doesn't survive in Batman Arkham City. I mean, yeah, he doesn't survive in Batman Arkham City. He dies at the end of Batman Arkham City. And so I'm sitting here thinking, like, you know what? That'd be actually a good way to actually play the game, to play in that order. Because it'll make more better sense how they first met and how this all taking place. You know what I mean? Um, uh, but like I said, that's all I gotta say about this game. I really do not know what the hell else to talk about. Um, but like, if there's any other classic games you want me to play, like any other Xbox games or PS1 games or Nintendo 64 games, please put a comment down below and tell me which game you want to play for that system. For any system, it has to be the Xbox, PS1, or the P, um, or the Nintendo 64. It has to be them. One, it has to be one of them three right there. Um, please put a comment down below and tell me which game. And and then then what I'll do once you tell me that game, um, uh, I will pick on one of the games I want to play for that system, and then turn around, then they do a dark my play on top of that. And then just put the rest onto the side and play that one right after the next. You know what I'm saying? So, so as I'm doing Batman Arkham Origin, please put a comment as well on that one too, on that video when I upload it, and let me know on what game you should should I do for the PS4 or, the, or Nintendo 64 or the actual the original Xbox. But um, but like I said, that's all I needed to say and. Mm, yeah, so anyway, all thing I want to say is thank you, Pizza Pippa, so much for joining me. I'll definitely be back to do another Dot My Play. <laughs> um, no. Uh, I, I fucked up. Wow. Only thing I want to say is thank you, Pizza Pippa, so much for joining me. I'll definitely be back to do a new Dot My Play of Batman Arkham Origins. Until next time, stay tuned for a new Dot My Play of Batman Arkham Origins. I am Dot My. This has been Dot My Game. Thank you, Pizza Pippa, so much again for joining me. Better come back now here. Keep your pimp hands strong and stay pimping. Thank you. Goodbye. Good night. And mosh.